Hi everybody, my name is Gijs Smit and I'm a master student at Eindhoven University of Technology. In this video, I'm going to present to you a framework for automated quality control of wall side images, which is based on the semantic segmentation of six commonly seen artifact types. This work was fulfilled during an internship at the Radboud University Medical Center in the Netherlands, and it was in collaboration with Linköping University, located in Sweden. Wall side imaging led to several opportunities in the field of computational pathology. An important example is the use of artificial intelligence for automated analysis of these histopathology images. However, artifacts may interfere with accurate diagnosis by pathologists, as well as deep learning based decision systems. As manual inspection is a time consuming process, this calls for an automated quality control system that can propose solutions for a more accurate analysis. In this work, we trained a multi class deep learning network for the semantic segmentation of six commonly seen artifact types. These included out of focus, tissue folds, ink, dust, marker, and air bubbles. To train the network, we collected and annotated a diverse data set that included multiple tissue and staining types, which makes our approach applicable to a wide variety of images. This deep learning network can be extended into a quality control framework that can automatically inform pathologists about the required actions to fix issues caused by artifacts. An overview of the proposed framework is shown on the slide. The framework works as follows. A wall side image is split up into smaller patches. These patches are then fed through the artifact segmentation module. Then, the individual patches are stitched back together into a full-scale segmentation map. The quality control module uses the segmentation map to return one of four actions, which can be used by pathologists to improve the quality of the wall side image for a more accurate analysis. To train the artifact segmentation module, we collected a diverse set of 142 bolster images. This dataset consisted of nine different tissue types and eight different staining types, and the wall images were digitized using seven different scanners. In total, we densely annotated more than 3,000 artifacts in one or more regions of the wall images. Due to the extremely high resolutions of these images, we sampled smaller patches, which were then fed through our artifact segmentation module for training. The artifact segmentation module in the proposed framework was based on the DeepLab V3 Plus architecture. We used EfficientNet B2 as the encoder of the network. Inference was comprised of two stages. First, we used an internally developed tissue segmentation network to pre-process an input wall side image to el eliminate the white spaces around the tissue. Then we applied the trained artifact segmentation network on the pre-processed image by feeding large tissue patches with test time augmentations. The framework also contained a quality control module in the form of a decision tree. Manual features were extracted from the segmentation output and forwarded into the quality control module. This module then outputs one of the four actions, clean up, rescan, recut, and no action. To evaluate the performance of the artifact segmentation module, we computed the pixel level classification matrix using the test set. Additionally, our method achieved an average patch level die score of 0.91. For both pixel level classification and patch level evaluation, the performance on out of focus, marker, and air bubbles was the best. From a visual perspective, these three artifact types have the largest difference in appearance compared to regular tissue. Furthermore, this performed the worst in both pixel level classification and patch level evaluation. We think that a relatively lower accuracy on dust artifacts was mostly due to the difficulty of annotating the borders of the artifact. Because of the transparent gradient at the border of dust artifacts, it can sometimes be hard to set a threshold on where dust starts to change into background. Next, we demonstrated the qualitative results of our method on test patches. In most of the cases, the network succeeds in accurately segmenting the shape of the artifacts. However, in the leftmost patch, you can see that the network sometime la sometimes lacks the ability to segment fine details in the image. Furthermore, in the second patch from the left, you can see that the network made an incorrect prediction for dust. We also compared the slide level performance of our artifact segmentation module with that of HistoQC. HistoQC is an open source quality control tool for wall side images. Our approach seems to include more of the useful tissue regions and segment several artifact types, such as tissue, tissue folds, out of focus, and dust, more accurately. A demo of the segmentation network is available via the following link. Here you can use an interactive viewer to explore the predictions made by the artifact segmentation module on a few example wall side images. In this work, we developed the first deep learning based multi class semantic segmentation network that is trained to detect six different artifact types. 
we also showed how this network can be extended into an automated quality control framework to assist pathologists in routine clinical practice. In future research, we aim to collect more annotations of rare artifact types and retrain the artifact segmentation module in order to make it generalize better to unseen data. Additionally, we will investigate the use of deep learning based alternatives for the quality control module, as we believe this will achieve more accurate results. I would like to thank you for your attention. I would like to thank you for your attention. And if you have any further questions, please contact us via email.